Hello friends, happy Self Love Sunday. So before I do these, I always meditate a little bit and wait for maybe a message to come through or whatever the focus should be for our time together each Sunday. So today, when I was just now meditating before starting this video, I was waiting for a message to come through and I'm just, you know, sitting here listening to just radio silence and all of a sudden I just feel my third eye opening. So today's focus is a third eye opening or activation meditation. We do get this question a lot. It's kind of like a beginner question. How do I open my third eye? Um, yeah, that's basically the question. How do I th open my third eye or some variation of that? So today I want to focus on that specifically. Um, I don't want to call it like an, an intermediate meditation, but it does take some body awareness to be able to kind of focus your attention right here while you're meditating and focus your breath work right here. So I would highly recommend if you haven't done so to watch a few of my other self-love self Sunday videos so you can get used to calming the body, uh, focusing on your breath, and also bringing your awareness to different parts of the body to relax them because we're going to use the skill of being able to focus your attention on one specific part of your body to focus your attention on your third eye so you can start to feel whatever and see whatever is going on there. And then once you do it one time, you'll be able to do it whenever you want to, um, especially when your body is calm, of course, but it's something that you don't necessarily forget how to do and it'll just do it on its own. You'll start to just be, you know, out and about living your life and all of a sudden you'll feel the pulsing or the tingling or you'll see something and you'll realize this is where it's coming from. So this is great for your intuitive awareness, for your intuitive strength and to open up whatever psychic abilities you have awaiting you there. So we're going to start to get in a comfortable position. You can lay down, you can sit down like me. Um, and we're going to start with our three deep breaths. So close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and exhale. Deep inhale in, and exhale. Deep inhale in and exhale. Continue focusing on your breath. Deep inhales nice full exhales. And you want to start to relax the body from head to toe. Bring your awareness to your head first. On each exhale, you want to relax a different part of the face. You can relax your eye muscles. Relax your nose, relax your jaw. Release your ears. When you release your ears, that also brings you down to your neck, so releasing any tension that you're holding in your neck and your throat chakra, sides, front, the back of your neck. Once you release there on your next exhale, that brings you down to your shoulders, releasing your shoulders, letting them just naturally fall where they may, whatever feels comfortable. whole concept here is to unclench your body wherever you may be consciously or subconsciously holding yourself together you want to just release take a deep inhale into your chest and exhale in all of my meditations I like to take extra time here to breathe into the chest and breathe and exhale from the chest. So when we get to our third eye portion, we're gonna kind of be doing the same thing. You're just gonna be directing your energy here instead of here. So 
Once you feel nice and relaxed and open in your heart space, go ahead and move your energy down to your belly. And exhale any tension that you hold there. You may naturally feel your sacral unclench as well. That's good. And then we're gonna release your legs and your feet. Just feel them sink into the surface below you on every exhale. Do a full body scan and release any additional tension that you might have. Check on your arms, check on your hands, check on your bum. Just release any tension, your hips, your back, just relax everywhere you can. And when you're ready, I want you to bring your awareness to your third eye, the space between your eyebrows. Right here, if you open your eyes, you can see me pointing. You can keep your finger here if it helps you focus your attention there. I want you, if you're using your finger here, I want you to just focus on the feeling of your finger on your brow, on your skin. Focus on your breath. And feel what that light touch feels like. Just focus your attention right there. If you're using your finger, do a few breaths here. Maybe three or four. And when you're ready, remove your finger, but keep your attention on that same space as you do your deep inhales, deep exhales. Reminder to keep the face relaxed. Focus on that area. If you need some help activating, you're not feeling anything yet, if you're not seeing anything yet, no worries. We can jump start a little bit with some visualizations. Try whatever is easiest for you. You can visualize just white light surrounding you. Or you can visualize indigo light. And indigo is the color that's kind of bluish purplish. And if that's too specific, you can just visualize purple. It's okay. <laughs> Deep inhales, deep exhales. Visualize that white or purple light surrounding you. And as I'm doing that, I'm feeling pressure on my third eye. You may feel tingling. Sometimes I feel an actual line drawn all the way up my forehead and I can feel it splitting open. It's not painful, it's just kind of weird. <laughs> and whatever you feel, just sit with that feeling, allow it, focus on it, and it may grow, it may intensify. It may allow some visions to come through for you. Whatever you see is personal to you. It could be a color, it could be a person, it could be a memory, it could be a vision of something that never happened, it could be something that makes absolutely no sense. Just watch it, whatever is playing in front of you. 
If you remember it later, great. You can maybe try to interpret it. If you don't remember it, that's okay because sometimes our third eye kind of just needs to do what it does, it needs to flesh it out. And the vision may come to you later, you know, a week from now, a year from now, years from now, and it'll feel like deja vu, but it's really a vision that you had a long time ago that you can barely remember. So it's really good to do this, you know, as often as you want, but daily would be great exercise for your third eye. Great way to strengthen it, get to know it, get to understand how spirit communicates to you through your third eye. You can watch how this conversation changes from different types of feelings to different types of visions. You can also hear things, it's called clear audience. You may hear a song playing or someone speaking, your voice, another voice. And this is all about awareness. I know I'm talking a lot as I guide you through this, but you can stay in this space for as long as you need to. You can start over once this video is over, now that you have instructions and try it on your own, in your own space, in your own time, in your own comfort. You can add a candle and stare into the candle to relax your body. You can also use the candle light. If you don't, if closing your eyes doesn't work for you, you can stare into a candle light and do the same exercise. Focus your breathing on your third eye and open it that way, activate it that way, or see visions in the candle light can work in many different ways whatever you want to try try it all and see what works for you that's the best thing about it it's a personal journey and it's all about getting to know yourself and how you communicate with spirit and how you or your intuition you know works for you speaks to you this is a very important skill if you want to lead a spiritual lifestyle and begin to follow your intuition and uh, connect with your highest good and connect with the messages just for you. This is a great exercise to do on a regular basis to really get to know how to use that. So once I'm done, I like to use a little grounding spray, spritz it, bring myself back down. If I stay up there too long, I'll start to have spiritual headaches or it'll start to be very obvious that I'm not grounded. <laughs> Whew. Take a deep breath and breathe in my grounding spray. And that's that. If you have any questions about this process or you just want to share what happened for you, feel free to leave a comment down below or DM us. Um, you can also add sage to your practice, sage yourself first. You can add Palo Santo to your practice um, to bring in and invite good energy and, and cleanse your third eye, um, especially if you're getting a lot of messages at once. Um, or there's a lot of confusion around it. Just remember to focus on your breath and just make this practice yours. So happy self-love Sunday. I hope you guys have a beautiful week and I will see you next Sunday.